Today's video, I'm going to talk to you guys about skincare. I feel like doing short videos on product reviews, brand re reviews, I love doing that, but I really wanna dive in deep in explaining the step-by-step -step process and the products that I'm currently using in love to get and achieve glowy skin. I've kind of tried everything. It's a step process and finding the right products for your skin. Took a big bucket. <laughs> Um, of products that I'm currently using. They're all open. I'm grabbing these all the time. How I'm currently achieving the glowiest skin I've honestly ever had and the best skin I've had. It is just finally where I really, really want it. And I wanna share it with you guys. It's not one brand, it's a lot of brands. First and foremost, important step. Honestly, I think it is so much more crucial and important than we think, than I thought in achieving the most glowy, beautiful skin is cleansing start with this i always say start with this make sure you're doing it properly for your skin type and it will make a world of difference and you won't have to use as many products basically how i've learned all of this is researching reading my time is spent pouring into skincare first part of cleansing that i think is so important is double cleansing morning i don't necessarily double cleanse because my skin is clean and i don't have makeup on it so i just do single cleansing but at nighttime every single day i do double cleansing so you can use a balm a cream or a milk kind of cleanser. I'm using this balm from True Botanicals and I absolutely love it. My skin has been loving it and my skin's been amazing. This is one of the new products I've been using that my skin just started to turn and be amazing. So I do credit it to that. I just put a little bit on and massage it into my skin. Make sure to get my mascara and makeup products and just kind of do a nice facial massage. Facial massage is important as well. I go in with my cleanser. So there's a few cleansers I love and recommend. I love the Outset Gentle Micellar Antioxidant Cleanser. It's more for if you have a combo or oily skin, I would say. Shani Darden Cleansing Serum. I recommend this to everybody. It is such a beautiful product and like none other out there because it's a serum, but it's a cleanser, you use such little amount and it just emulsifies and cleanses your skin so amazingly with little effort. So I think it's definitely worth the splurge. I love mixing in a scrub. This is the Aveeno Brightening Scrub because I find that really helps with getting makeup and debris and dead skin off and it will make my skin more clear and brighter, not as dull because it just takes everything off that isn't supposed to be there. And I also love this Murad Acne Control Clarifying Cleanser. It has salicylic acid in it of um, the acne line from Murad. I find it really helps. I have acne prone skin, I have combo skin. So I'm kind of normal here and oily through my T-zone. So I find this just helps clear my pores. If I use it daily, I use that morning and night. And I sometimes mix my cleansers, honestly, I mix them together. I just like to kind of have them all at once. Important tip that I learned recently from a skincare book I was reading is a European method of cleansing. So once you're done cleansing your skin, I ordered these on Amazon. I'll leave a link for them as well. They're just like, they're called European washcloths. So it's like a washcloth, but a mitt. And once you're done washing your face with cleanser, you rinse off the product with a, gently with a washcloth like this. And honestly, this made such a difference in my skin. So I can't recommend just going back to a simple routine of using this. It's a book on French skincare and they swear by using this. And I completely agree. I've tested it out. Now I completely agree with um, that technique. It works. Cleansing is number one essential step. Number two, the order I do it in is an eye cream. My area is just easily dehydrated. It's thin. It's most prone to signs of aging. Daytime, I use the Biosance Squalene Marine Algae Eye Cream. I love this product because it's not irritating. It's really gentle on the eyes. I have sensitive eyes and it really, I want something gentle obviously through the day that hydrates, but doesn't irritate my eyes and absolutely love this one. And then at nighttime, I use the Shani Darden Intense Eye Renewal Cream. And this is kind of the only cream I will use on my eyes at nighttime. Again, it's gentle, but it really, really hydrates and just keeps all those wrinkles and dryness, darkness away. My eyes honestly have never really looked better using these two. This is like an extra step. You don't have to do it, but I like doing it. So it's like a essence toner. Sometimes I use 
these Clearosil salicylic pads when my skin might be breaking out or just once in a while to maintain my clear skin. My skin to look glowy like today, I use the Road Glazing Milk. This is so hydrating, like if your skin's dry, but it also makes your skin healthy looking and glowy. And I love the Shani Darden Saki Toning Essence as well. It does the same thing. It makes your skin hydrated and glowy looking. So not only does it do things long term, these both do something in the moment and make your skin look amazing and have a lot of anti-aging skin benefits in both of these. So this is an extra step. You don't have to do it, but I do it and I swear by it. And then we go into the serums. Daily serum, one that I love and have been using is the Outset Vegan Collagen Prep Serum. It's simple. This is like literally almost gone. Simple hydrating adds glowiness, keeps your skin clear. It's very agreeable for like all skin types. So I really love that one one is just like my little secret this road one for glass glowy skin because it makes your skin look amazing when you put it on it's the peptide glazing fluid dewy hydration layer so i kind of do this as a serum or on top of a serum again that's an extra step but i just like to go extra but this i kind of sub as a serum it has peptides in it which are so great for your skin health there's a biosance squalene lactic acid resurfacing serum absolutely love using this one this one's a night one even though sometimes i use it during the day you probably shouldn't but i really like it these biosense products are very sensitive on the skin like if you have sensitive skin i really like this line and brand for that also sometimes use this fresh tea elixir serum it has a really nice scent and milky kind of texture to it i like using this during the day when i feel kind of like fancy this is a vitamin c serum this one is an amazing vitamin c serum Quintus Serum by Vivier. It's a very high-end med spa type brand. Their skincare is amazing. This one I really love for its like effectiveness. It's a very good serum. So can't forget the Summer Fridays CC Me Serum. This is my go-to everyday vitamin C serum and when I want to look glowy too, when I want my skin to look good. This one is great. I love it. I've used that for so long. And these aren't serums, but they're treatments. So I kind of put them in this category and these are anti-aging treatments I use at nighttime. I rotate them. So I have Retinol Reform, so Retinol with, by Shani Darden, and then also a Lactic Acid by Shani Darden. So I rotate these. I use them a couple times a week. So basically the Retinol takes off a layer of your skin, basically. It kind of like lifts it off. So fine lines and wrinkles don't look as apparent. It does do a lot of work under cover for boosting collagen. And retinol is like the one thing you can do for anti-aging on your face. And then I like to go in with the acid like a couple days later. And that kind of just sloughs off all that extra dead skin and keeps your skin regenerating and glowy. So I like to rotate these into my skincare routine in that serum spot at nighttime. And then we do moisturizing step. The outset, I love their basic moisturizer. I use that one during the day. Chani Darden Weightless Oil Free Moisturizer. I also love during the day. I'm using the Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask forever. I've been like trying some new products right now, so I haven't been using it as much, but it's just such a good go-to for me and my skin loves it. Came out with a rich cushion cream, which I've been kind of using since it came out instead of the Jet Lag Mask, a little bit. And it just fully hydrates your skin and makes it look glowy and feel good. And in the winter, I feel like a product like this is just so nice to have because you know you don't have to, sometimes when you're in a rush or you're just not in the mood to be in the bathroom applying all your skincare forever. It just is like a one step thing that just does it all. Shani Darden has a hydration peptide cream which is comparable in texture as the Summer Fridays Rich Cushion Cream because they're deeply hydrating for winter. It's just an absolute must. Peptides are so, so good for your skin. I read a book on skincare and it mentioned it in there. Just for your skin health over time, amazing. So I love this one as well for a moisturizer, a heavy moisturizer on the face, which is my last step, definitely. Um, at nighttime, I don't always wear cream during the day. It depends on my mood and how dry my skin is. I also have been trying this Lawless Forget the Filler Skin Plumping Line Smoothing Perfecting Cream, and I really, really love it. It, I think the creator has a combo acne prone skin, which is the same as mine. So I know that this will break my skin out and this kind of does the same thing. It's not quite as thick as the other two, but it's very similar. I use this on my neck and chest too, just to make sure my skin's hydrated everywhere. To finish off my skincare with a Avene a Thermal Spring Water. It adds, just at the end of my skincare routine, it adds a lot of nutrients and minerals to your skin that keep your skin healthy. So I love adding this in. Morning and night you can do. And 
Then for my body skincare, I like using the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream on my chest and neck when I kind of need some extra hydration and glow. I like using that. It's a beautiful cream, like absolutely stunning. And then I've been using this Maylie's Reset Balancing Body Serum on my chest and back just to make sure my skin is clear everywhere and it's just good body care so i kind of do a serum and then i apply a cream and then i'm taking care of my body as much as i am my face which is important to do so one isn't looking all crazy glowy compared to the other now i went through a lot of products but i really wanted to talk to you guys about all the products i'm loving for glowy skin right now i hope this is useful if you have any questions about the products don't forget to ask me down below i will leave all these products i talked about down below as well as these steps that i like to do in my glowy skincare routine don't forget to like this video down below and follow me here at hall underscore ward on youtube i post every single week and don't forget to head over to instagram and follow me over there at hall underscore ward as always i hope you have a wonderful week and i'll see you next time